Okay, the best way to prove this one is start from the right hand side because left hand side it's just a one minus three. There's not much to it. Okay, um, let's do the right hand side. Let's copy the whole thing. So you have sine of x over two times this whole thing of sine x over two minus i cosine of x over two. Let's distribute. So you have sine of square x over two. So I'm just distributing in there. Minus uh, i times 2 times sine x over 2 cosine x over 2. Okay, let's move up a little bit. Here we're going to use a identity, couple identities as, as, as a matter of fact. This one is easily recognizable. It's a sine of 2 theta, right? 2 times this is our theta, 2 times x over 2. Okay. Um, so basically what I used is sine of 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cosine theta. Okay. Um, cosine of 2 theta is a little bit tricky. It has a couple more forms. The, the easiest one to remember, of course, is this one, sine uh, there, cosine squared minus sine squared. And if you use the trig identity, you can place this one um, and transform it as say for example 1 minus sine squared is a cosine minus sine squared here so therefore cosine is also equal to 2 uh, 1 minus 2 sine theta another way you can also do it is equal to this so what we're going to do is we're going to massage this chunk a little bit okay so so far we, we have let's draw the line over here so far we have 2 sine squared x over 2 okay, minus i times sine of 2 times x over 2. This is our sine 2 theta. Okay. Now, using the identity I was talking about earlier, let's transform this one using uh, cosine 2 theta here. Since I have 2 of sine theta squared, chances are I'm going to be using this one. Okay. So what I'll be using on the side over here is cosine of 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sine square theta or another way sine of 2 sine theta squared is equal to 1 minus cosine of 2 theta okay so here this chunk this chunk is my theta so this chunk is really equal to 1 minus cosine of 2 theta over here, so cosine of 2 times x over 2, okay, minus i of sine of x, right, and then let's do one more step, you have 1 minus cosine of x minus i sine of x, and this is equal to y minus z, which is equal to left hand side, all right? Have a confident day.